night at six Pueblo County Commissioners hoping to tamp down the fire danger this summer by requiring property owners to remove weeds and brush from their land. News Times Andy Cohen joins us live from our Pueblo studios tonight with a closer look at this proposal. Andy. Elizabeth, this is just the first reading. The Board of County Commissioners may still make some changes before they adopt the final wording, but the goal here is the same to lower this fire risk by getting rid of a big source of fuel. It's this image that County Commissioner Terry Hart can't shake when he thinks about the fire danger that exists on the high plains of Pueblo County. That was uh, the equivalent of several story tall building and that's just on prairie grass. The Carson Midway fire, the Boone fire and the 117 fire earlier this spring are all reminders of how devastating wind driven grass fires can be. The county wants to mitigate the risk and that means getting rid of the fuel. Uh, we had a uh, very wet year last year had a whole lot of growth of weeds last year and we have a drought this year and so things are just drying up like crazy and so we have a tinderbox all the way around the city. The board passed on first reading an ordinance that will require property owners in unincorporated Pueblo County to remove any weeds taller than nine inches. Dale DeLulo lives next door to a vacant field that is a constant tumbleweed producer. So it's their crop they grew that they basically threw onto your property without our permission. So what do we do with their crops? You know, that's how I looked at it. But as it's written, the ordinance would only apply to properties that are less than two and a half acres. Dale's absentee neighbor owns 10 acres. Commissioner Hart told us that this is just the first draft of the ordinance. So we're going to take another look at that on the acreage requirement. We want to definitely focus on the safety factor. Now, under the current wording of this draft ordinance, it's only going to apply to residential properties, not farmland. But the board does want to get some feedback from the community about this proposal during this public comment period as they write that final draft. Watching out for you, Pueblo County, Andy Cohen, News 5. Thanks, Andy. Let's talk.